Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're in the parking lot now of Badger Mountain and Powers Winery. Uh, we've heard about it from, what, a lot of friends? Yeah, kind of, but it's the only one in our area that's organic. Badger Mountain is organic. So they have some organic wines we're here to try, so that's going to be interesting. So we're really excited to go in, check out this winery, and we'll let you know how it goes when we come out. See you in a bit. Citrus, banana, and pineapple with lemongrass. <laughs> Explodes yeah. on the palate. I that's it. Bland. <laughs> that happened. That just happened. Mouth watering, fine hair, and citrus fruits. This is <laughs> Yep. Chardonnay is not my favorite thing. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. What is organic? It makes me happy. Look, USDA certified organic. It's a little sweeter than the Chardonnay, but it also explodes a little on the mouth. Do you smell pine needle? A touch of pine needle on the nose. Or touch on the nose. It, it, it thumped me in the nose. I'm not going to be on the nose. The pine needle just did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I had slept the cord out, it would be a lot faster today. Not everybody hates everything. This is actually pretty good though, to be honest. Once you get used to it, pears, apricots, and peaches. It's pretty yummy. Um, to each their own. So the next one is our Badger Mountain Cab. It's 100% organic. It's going to be a little more fruit forward uh, because they can't eat it as long. Uh, it's really good, so like pretty fresh. Why can't they age it as long? Because the organic can't have a preservative. Okay, so the longer you age it, the more... Like, you just have to have a preservative in it to age it that long. Oh. Otherwise, it will go bad. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like, like a caramel kind of a... Oh, what is that smell? Vanilla, tobacco, and vanilla on the nose. Yeah, I can see that. Tobacco and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Black so like coffee and a touch of the cocoa intertwined with a hit of oh, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But when you swish it around your mouth, what you're doing is you're exposing the wine to the different parts of your mouth so that you can taste the different tastes. And if you don't swish it around, you don't necessarily taste the entire wine because certain parts of your mouth only taste those things. So like I think I think it was the tannins are more in the center. I may be mistaken, and then like the sweeter on the edge, and then like your gums actually are part of it. But look, I don't know if you're gonna like this one. I definitely taste the cherry in this one as I saw it in the back of my tongue. But it's black cherry. Let's say blueberry, blackberry. Tobacco and vanilla, we already said. So I can't trust that first taste because I still have the uh, reason. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get some water. I mostly taste the cherry in this one. I taste a little bit of blueberry. I don't really get the coffee or the cocoa. 
not that time either. Give me that. I mean, I don't know if it's similar. I like the smoke taste though. I don't get the mint though on this. Do you get mint? No. no. I'm gonna have to bring my girls out here, I guess. They all wanna get down to this one. Well, you know, I mean, there's there's a big table over there. It'd be mm -hmm. perfect for you and your friends. Yeah. Because, like, if one's going to wine, two's going to wine, four's going to wine, you end up with like six people probably. You'll definitely have at least five people wanting to go with you, I think. Okay. That's pretty good. If you like it. If you like it enough to buy it, man. Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, I feel like going on a tasting, like, if you don't buy something, yeah. like. You're wasting your time and your money, kind of. <laughs> I mean, like, if you didn't find at least one that you like enough to buy a bottle, it's kind of a sad thing. We found one. So, one. I hope that next time we come, we should come back and do the So, oh, that one, yeah. They're, yeah, we like the GSM, Grenache, yeah. Syrah, Maverde. Maverde? Uh, somebody Google that and tell us how to say that. Good. This is fancy. Look at, all, look at all this here. Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, look at that. There's a 3%. There it is. Oh, Petit, Petit Brito. 3%. That's what's up. I guess we'll find out someday. All right. So that was Badger Mountain and Powers. So we Oh my gosh, I didn't notice it was screw top. So weird. Uh, Hold on. What's... Weird. So it's a screw top, but oh. homeboy was like, you can have it. You can have it. So now the screw top has a gap top and ah. pork. So we're good. That's awesome. I didn't realize that. So anyway, yeah. Look at this leaf. 
This one has the thumbprint in it too. It's oh, so it's in cool. There. It's not. Oh wait. Oh. Anyway. Um. Hmm. What do we have to say about this winery? wine tasting room so i apologize that it was so loud in there um we almost didn't record um there's <laughs> we're getting copyright strikes i'm just telling you right now no there's just there there's <laughs> at least you get to enjoy some really cool 80s music so they were having an 80s party uh just about starting as we were leaving so the entire time that we were there they did nothing but play 80s music which was so really loud it was loud, but it was cool. It was I mean, fun. I appreciate it. Good experience. Um, I think that they're going to have a lot of the party outside. I don't, you couldn't tell, but it, the inside is, is very minimal. Um, but that's also why it was so loud in there. Mm -hmm. There was like five or six tables tops. We were standing. Um, Which but is at least, kind of fun. That's the first time we've stood. That is the first time we it. stood. And it was cool to have a backdrop of all that wine behind us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I, I wish that we had something like that just at the house to do our own wine tasting, because that would be legit. Oh. Someday, we'll probably be inviting some of y'all with us uh, to taste the uh, global wines. I want to do, like, I want to host wine tasting parties myself. Like, I want to have enough wine that we can host wine tasting parties. So, if you guys like that idea, uh, give it a like, and we'll see if that's something that we may do in the near future. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.